Alright, I am back now to do the second half of the fabulous Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Wednesday, the 30th of January, 2013. Walter from Ecorse, Michigan was the fourth contestant. He played flip-flop for a chance to win a trip to Colorado Springs, Colorado. That includes a six-night stay in a premier celebrity suite at the Cliff House at Pikes Peak, with daily breakfast included, plus an 8.9-mile long cog railway ride to Pikes Peak, modeled by Manuela in winter gear. The raw price was $5,321. Walter chose to flop, making the price $5,312, instead of flipping to make the price $3,521, and instead of flipping and flopping to make the price $3,512. Felt pretty good on Walter flopping here, folks. And when Drew and Walter pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price, it was... $5,312! Walter's on his way to Colorado! Jessica who is from Syracuse, New York, but lives in Manhattan, who works in fashion and is also a cheerleader, was the fifth contestant. She played Lyle Up for a chance to win a 2013 Hyundai Elantra GLS modeled by Rob. One was the first number of the price of the car, and zero was the last number of the price. Taking the price of the barbecue gas grill that had the heavy-duty porcelain cooking grill, a warming rack, a side shelf, and a stainless steel handle modeled by Amber, priced at $786, Jessica chose 7 for the second number. Taking the price of the four Marvel superhero spatulas that weren't modeled, priced at $56, Jessica chose 5 as the third number. And taking the price of the 15-piece coffee accessory collection that includes an espresso machine, a frother, a 12-cup coffee maker, cups, saucers, and mugs, modeled by Manuela, priced at $745, Jessica chose four as the fourth number, making the price $17,540. Was that the price of the car? No, it wasn't. But... How many numbers did she have right? One. In her second chance, she chose to change the seven to an eight for the second number and not the six. And she changed the four to a seven and not a five for the fourth number making the new price $18,570. And when Rob revealed the actual retail price of the 2013 Hyundai Elantra GLS, it was... $18,640! The one number she had right was the four. Lisa, who was celebrating her birthday on the tape date of today's episode, was the sixth and last contestant. She played Switch for a chance to win these two prizes. A Maytag front-loading steam washer and dryer with the washer having 11 wash cycles and the dryer having multiple drying temperatures, modeled by Amber. And a 27-inch Apple Mac Pro computer, desktop to be precise that has 6 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, and an all-in-one printer included, followed by Manuela. The washer and dryer was priced at $2,848, and the computer was priced at $3,618. Lisa chose to keep the prices the way they were and not have them switched. I have to say, I felt very good on her choice. And when Amber and Manuela revealed the prices of the two prizes, it turned out that Lisa was a winner as she was right to not switch the prices. She won both prizes totaling $6,466.
Now on to the acknowledgement. According to Ben Mason, he asked, 24 bucks for coffee? Is my guy of his mind? The contestants roll over bid count for this season as of this episode is now seven. He liked Lisa's headwear. So did I. You can almost tell it was her birthday that day. Well, I just mentioned that on the tape date of today's episode, it was her birthday. And still talking about Lisa, she got booed while spinning the wheel. Boo! Lisa is the ninth contestant this season to have that honor. Now, according to Neil Rocks 87, today the fifth item up for bids was a car audio system. One of the last times a car audio system was offered on the show, his dad said he doesn't understand why those are given away on the show since most cars already have really good audio systems in them from the factory. He must agree with his dad on this. His dad owns a 2002, uh, 2002 excuse me, Chevy Impala, and let me tell you, it has an amazing sounding factory stereo in it despite the fact the car is now 11 years old. Anyway, getting back on topic, there's really no need to have these car audio systems on the show. Although anything is better than all that designer shit. <laughs> totally agree with you there, New York 87, and wow, pretty cool to know that uh, an 11 year old car still has a pretty good sounding stereo system. Nice. And now he asks, what is it with people thinking these muscle cars, Camaros and Mustangs, are super expensive? $28,000 yesterday in Lucky 7, and $27,000 today in Pathfinder? It's obvious that most contestants these days don't watch the show on a regular basis. It just makes you want to reach through the TV and strangle people like that. <laughs> yeah, go Homer Simpson on their ass. <laughs> and finally, to end Neil Rock 87's acknowledgments, today in the showcase, Amber modeled a hot tub. He's noticed lately that whenever Amber models a prize, such as a hot tub, boat, etc., she's worn a lot of one-piece suits. Why no bikinis? No. Show a little more skin, baby. She looks smoking hot in a bikini, but then again, she looks smoking hot in just about anything. That is totally obvious. Uh, bikini or no bikini, he'd still nail her. I would too. <laughs> he guessed that joke works both ways. Tommy, the Green Ranger, your evil laugh, please. And uh, when I saw Amber in that lovely one-piece suit, I definitely was having the urge to jack off, just like how uh, Brad Hamilton did in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> okay folks today we had three pricing games won they were most expensive flip flop and switch and we gave away a grand total of two thousand dollars in cash Martha won a thousand dollars in showcase showdown number one and Walter won $1,000 in Showcase Showdown number two. The MVPs of the prices right today are Martha for winning Most Expensive, Walter for winning Flip Flop and in Showcase, which I will get to in a little bit, and Lisa for winning her game. Now, Walter's Showcase that he won included a Vespa LS150 IE motor scooter that has a 150cc engine, automatic transmission, and electric start, followed by Manuela. A Beachcomber Hot Tub Hot Tub that has magical lighting, 28 jet ports, and seat 6 to 8 adults, modeled by Amber in, once again, that lovely, what, jack, jackable uh, swimsuit. <laughs> And finally, a Yamaha VX Deluxe Wave Runner that has an ultra lightweight 1052cc engine, jet pump propulsion system, and seating for three, trailer included, ridden by Rob. Where was Amber when you needed her? Oh, man. 
anyway, uh, Walter bid $22,632, a very precise bid. Actual retail price, $25,614, for a difference of $2,982. Walter won a grand total in cash and prizes of $33,861 on today's show. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right Pricing and Recap is provided by Antimans Mini Cakes, available in flavors such as Crumb. So, just want to point out that these are the Pricing and Recap team members who will do recaps in the upcoming future. If bonus game gets played, Barnett's 51989 will do the recap, although he told me because of the uh, futility of card games not being won as of late, he is thinking of sitting out. To be honest with you, I really want him to fulfill on recapping bonus games. Sports Guy 528 does the pricing and recap when the gorgeous boy the Osborne makes a return. I'm going to let I'm 264 shirt do the pricing and recap the next time Golden Road gets played, as I was messaging him that uh, not too long ago. New Rock City 7 will do the pricing and recap for Rachel's last tape show. And, uh, that's, that's about it. So, I'll probably be back tomorrow. And just to remind you all, Friday is the Super Bowl 47 special for The Price is Right, where Sports Guy 528 and New Rock City 7 are scheduled to join me as co-hosts via Skype. And I should also point out right now that I'm 264 shirt has asked to join me on the day after Super Bowl 47, that's this upcoming Monday, February 4th. So until tomorrow, this is Mr. Wagner reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everyone.